and welcome to another segment of A Brush With Art. I want to show you a really quick and easy way to decorate birdhouses, something like this. Um, there's patterns available. If you'd like one, you can email me at the address at the end of the show. The pattern comes like this, and I just cut it out and then fold it in half and cut the little hole out here because the hole fits right over this little stick here. And these are birdhouses that you can get in any craft store. You can sand them and paint them. I don't bother to paint them because I like them rust rustic, and of course it saves time too. But I just, uh, first of all, got my base coat on and then got my pattern ready and I just rub a pencil across the back to transfer it and put it on here and draw it with a sharp pen. And let me show you how easy these are to paint. First of all, you want to start with a stiff brush and that's a brush that's going to hold its shape rather than something that's going to bend on you. And I like to take a real light color of green. I have a dark and a light here. And I'm going to take a little bit of the dark, a little bit of the yellow, and kind of mix it right on the brush. Get some of the paint off. And then I'm going to start dry brushing all the way around this penciled in area that you can see. Right here we have a little bird, so I don't want any green around that one. But I'm just going to put a very light uh, dry brushing here just to get some color to put my flowers and leaves over. And then this also, the pattern and doing this kind of gives me some direction as I'm painting so I don't end up just going all over the front of it and when I get through not have a, a good looking pattern and, and something that looks nice. This kind of keeps me in line here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to, I hope you can see this okay, I'm going to spread that way on out as much as I can. Right down into the tail of the bird. And get just a little bit more. Let's see, I'm going to look over here. Right about in there, okay. Now I just want to be sure that this is going to fill in enough of the space there. Okay, and this is just going to be your foliage in the background, leaves and and just any kind of foliage back there. Okay, and here's what we've got. This is our first step, and this is already dry because it was dry brush. So now we're going to go back and we're going to draw the vine in with just a little thin brush and maybe use some darker green and just trace that that we've got drawn onto the birdhouse. So I'm going to take a, a very thin uh, point brush and we'll get some of the darker paint on it and just follow those lines that I had just traced on here. And these are little curly cues. And each time you get to the bottom of a curly cue, place a little dot there. That will look really cute. Okay. And we've got that done. And this is the effect that we want to get. It's just a real pale dry brushing, just uh, going all different directions. And then pick up a little bit of the dark and get a little bit of rough edges along there. Let me show you how to do that, like just like that for a variety. And then what we're going to do is come back and put some little rose buds around here using the dot method. And then we're going to come back and add some green leaves and paint a little bluebird in. Let me show you a finished one and what we're going to be striving for. You can see we have pink and white rose buds, and then we have some white maybe baby's breath on top of it, and then we have the little blue bluebird. Okay, now I want to show you how easy it is to make these rose buds. We're going to get a very fine tip pen, a fine tip brush, and wet it. I think this one's going to be better. And let me move this over where maybe you can see it from there. I'm going to pick up a dot of pink 
and I'm going to touch the white and I'm going to come back here and everywhere I want a rosebud I'm going to make three little strokes. Can you see that from there? And I'm just going to do this all the way around the, the vine, every place I want to do it. Keep, um, we just want to keep little dots on our brush. And um, as you can see, it's, it's blending itself as I touch the birdhouse. Get a little bit of white in there. And we're just going to do this all the way around. Three little dots of two colors of paint. And that's all you have to do. Oops, a little bit more pink. All the way around the birdhouse. And we have this step finished. Do you see how quick and easy that was to do? That doesn't take a lot of talent, doesn't take a lot of time. Just practice touching your surface with little dots of paint and blending it as you go. And the next step we're going to do is add the green leaves. And if you want to look over here to this one, what we're going to do is use the dot system again. But when we touch our dot, we're going to pull it and give the leaf a little corner to it. And we're going to go all the way around and add some leaves to this one. And I'm going to pick up, I'm going to make some pretty yellow green with this. Add some yellow to the dark and get a pretty spring green. Got the paint right on the end of my brush. Let's see if I can turn this around. Okay, I'm going to add some dark green to it. Now, for my leaves, I'm going to do a dot and then pull out. I think, I think it's going to be better to use the dark green. Okay. There we go. To show you better, I'll come up here and show you. Touch it and then pull out. And these get two little dots. Get some paint. Touch it and pull up. Touch it and pull up. Okay, let's go back and do this one. I'm doing this upside down, so it's a little bit awkward, and I have to keep turning it. But maybe you can see this one better. Touch it and pull out. Touch it and pull out. And then you want to do that any place that you want a little dark green leaf. And you know, you might even want to add some black to this green because there's so much green behind it, and that might really show it better. I have done that before. But you can see how you just sort of build on it as you go along. And remember, this is your work. You can't get do it wrong. You do it like you want it, and you get it to look like you want it. Just want to fill all this in with little leaves. And same down here. We're going to touch it and pull out, touch it and pull out, touch it and pull out, touch it and pull out. Just keep doing that. And even on the yellow part, especially on the yellow, because that's going to make it look more real. More realistic. Okay, now we have finished that step, and our next step is going to be to paint the bird in. And this may look like it would be very difficult to do, but it's so simple. And I want you to notice how, compare the two, and we're just slowly building up to the finished product. We're going to be adding some more things in here to fill it in, but first of all, let's do the bird. And we're going to do the bird in the same way. I'm taking just a little bit bigger fine point brush. I'm going to pick up some, bl some br blue and get it in my brush real good. And just on one side of it, I'm going to pick up some white. Okay, and then following the pattern, I'm just going to paint in the top side of it and press down on my brush as I go. And I'm going to have to add some white in there because it didn't pick up on the brush. Just like that. Okay. And you can't see the pattern very well, but I can see where it picks up again and then it just sweeps right like that. And you can always go back and add a little more white to make it a little more defined blend it in. I, I want to leave it feathery looking. And then we have a blue wing and then we have a pink breast. So we're going to leave the breast and do this wing. Just come on out. Remember when you want to get a pretty 
fine point at the end of your stroke. You just lift your brush up as you finish the stroke. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing to the pink. Pick up a little bit of pink, get it in the brush good. Pick up some white on one side. And you can decide if you want that white under the belly or under the wing. And either one looks great. It does not matter. Here we go. Okay, and we have a bird that just fits into that whole picture. And when it dries, we're going to put a little eye in it, a little black eye right here. Now, the other thing we want to do is start filling it in. And I'm going to go back to the little tiny, tiny point brush that I had. And I'm going to pick up some gobs of paint right on the end of it. And then I'm going to just make little dots, kind of raised, <coughs> raised dots. Just fill in some empty spaces. And I don't know if you can see how raised it is, but you can just almost touch them. And then you just fill all this in, just like you see on the, on the finished one. And then we're going to go back. We're going to do the same thing with yellow. Just get a little glob of paint on the end of your brush and come back and just start making little dots all in the empty spaces where you want to fill it in. Come down here and do this and here and all over. And you just do that until you have it like you like it. And then you let that dry, and we've got one more step to do. Or actually, we've got two more steps to do. And when we come back, I'll show you that one. Okay, and we have two more steps to do. And the last painting step I'm going to do, I have another dry brush. It's a softer dry brush. But I'm going to leave it dry and pick up paint and just tap it a little bit, get some of that paint off. Then I'm going to come back and add some just little wisteria here and there. Okay, and we are done. And <clears throat> this is something you can do in just a few minutes. Um, after it dries good, I like to um, spray this area right here if you're going to write something on it with acrylic and then with a sharpie pen write that in and then spray the whole thing real good if you don't spray it first it will soak into the wood and it'll kind of get blurry so that's what i like to do but that's how simple that is and you can even go farther with your birdhouses after i got these done i enjoyed doing them so much i made some christmas ornaments and just put let me see if i have another one the little berry and leaves here glued a little bird on it with some greenery or let's see here's one something like this and you could even go to the Sea Rock City I hope you will enjoy making birdhouses and I hope that you'll try it and see what other things you can do with it and when I come back I want to show you one more thing to do with the dot flower system by keeping the birdhouse project simple I was able to make dozens and dozens of them but then I found an even quicker way and that was to not even paint it and have to put two coats on wait for it to dry I just did a milk wash on some uh, plain wood birdhouses by watering down some latex white paint or acrylic white any kind of craft paint would work you just put a real thin coat on it you don't have to sand it or anything and then use the same technique using one of the patterns and do your dry brushing and then come back and do your little dots paint in your bluebird if you want to put something on it and then I took some um, blue um, glaze like this gold glaze here but it was a periwinkle blue and just dry brushed all around the corners to give it some color and all in here and this one I went all the way around because it just goes so fast and it's so easy to do. And here's one all in blue. And here's some little violets. There's just no end to what you can do 
once you get started and once you learn it. This one more thing I wanted to show you that you can do. Of course, there's many, many things you can think of to do, but I want to share this one with you. And this is some little knobs that go on a dresser. And I needed to add some color to them. So this you don't have to dry brush at all. You just pick up, let's see, I think I'll do this one. You just pick up a very thin point brush. You pick up a dot of pink, a dot of white, and you make five little dots. Get some more pink in there. One, two, three, four, five. And you do that with each color, or whatever colors you want. You might want all pink or all blue. This is going to be kind of like spring flowers. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do a purple. And this goes really quick and easy. One, two, three, four, five. And since the white didn't come up in that, we're just going to pick up some white. Just do it right on the knob. Just I think my white's getting kind of dry here. Try to add some white in there. There we go. Okay, now we've got to get some leaves in there and we'll be through. And I'm going to make a pretty uh, yellow, green. Okay, and remember to do leaves, you're going to do a dot and pick up, and dot and pick up, or dot and pull out. Okay, and then like that, and like that, and I think that needs another little. Now, one more thing we're going to do. We're going to pick up yellow, a big glob of yellow, and we're going to put a little dot in the center of each flower. And I hope you'll try the dot dot system of making flowers and see what you can do. And when we come back, we've got something else to share with you. In the next few minutes that's left, I want to show you one of my favorite projects. It's easy, it's simple, it's fun, it takes just a few supplies. You can store them in a very small space. And it's um, window color, gallery glass window color. Creates stained glass look. You can get it at any craft store. And um, it creates this kind of a look. I just tried it out on this little bottle here. And I was just so happy with the results that I decided these goblets needed some embellishment. So I'm going to paint one to show you how easy it is to do. Be sure you shake your paint up good because it's pretty thin and it comes out quite fast and um, you barely have to squeeze it, maybe just to get it started and then it just kind of pours out on its own. I'm going to make rosebuds by just drawing, starting in the middle and drawing sort of a curly cue here, like that. I'm going to turn it all the way around and make one right across from it. Since I don't have a pattern to kind of keep it straight, make one in the middle of it and one on the other side. This just dries so pretty. I'm going to take some uh, green. I'm going to use uh, Kelly Green for this one. Okay. And to make my leaves, I'm just going to see if we can get that out. Draw my leaf. This is not going to come out real good. I think I'll ch choose another green that, that I've already got the top open on. Okay. We're going to draw it just like this. Come out like that. Come out like that. You don't need a brush. You just fill it in. Okay, do another one. Fill it in. It's just almost too easy. Oh, let's get another one over here. Hope you're getting a good picture of this since the glass is clear. I don't know if you can see it real good, but you can get the idea. All this just freehand. I think that's um, kind of the beauty of it is that it is just kind of whimsical and free. Okay, it's kind of milky looking when it's wet. And I'm going to take the blue, since that was the color scheme I wanted, red, blue, and green. And I'm just going to make a dot in between where the two leaves meet. One there, one there, and let's see, and that's it. Okay. And I had so much fun with that, I wanted to paint everything in my cabinet. 
But instead, I decided to do something else. Went to the thrift store. I found this pretty picture. Just an old picture, not really valuable and not really beautiful. But then I found these little glasses that matched. And they're not really a set, but they look just alike. And I painted these to show you some of the different looks you can get. Painted these in a very delicate pattern and a very delicate look. And let me paint one very quickly and show you how easy that goes. Okay, I'm going to use the ivy green. And I'm just going to start with a dot and then make a little mark like that. And then another dot and another mark. Another dot, another mark. And just go all the way around the glass like that. And then I'm going to take, um, let's see, rose quartz and make some little rosebuds or, or little flowers using the dot system. And we're just going to go one, two, three. See how that's just pouring out as I just tilt it? Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, one more. Then I'm going to take some white and be sure and use Snow White or one of the other whites rather than the Crystal Clear because the Crystal Clear dries clear and I want this to show up. I want to get a little dotted Swiss look. So just every now and then I'm just going to do a white dot. And, and I think a whole set of dishes like this would just be beautiful thing is you just don't want to stop you just want to keep painting and let me see we have just a few minutes left and I'm going to go ahead and paint the picture here and remember this doesn't require any patterns but if you want any patterns that we use on the show just write me at the email address at the end of the show and I'll be glad to send them to you I want to say to Eric Starnes I hope you can be on my show one day Eric appreciate your watching and I'm glad that you want to be on the show and I want to thank everybody for the calls and the cards and the mail that we get and let me go ahead and finish up this picture I'm going to start right here and then I'm going to come on around like this and just do another one and just do this all the way around let's see start at the bottom come on up you know, you could draw you a pattern or a little diagram on paper just to look at to kind of help keep you. But I just like to be freehand. I, just, I like the freedom of it. And then just do my, um, my rosebuds. And this is pretty thin, so you want to really be careful and not get too much out because then it'll start running down. And I'm just putting one every place that I think it needs it. One here, one here, okay, and then I'm going to come back with my dotted Swiss and just make one dot every place that just looks like it needs a dot to sort of fill it in. Okay, and a little bit more here, a little bit more here. You know, I think one of the most um, popular shows we did was the Indian plate painting. And I'm glad you like that. We're going to be doing some more of that, too. And some other things with that type of thing that I want to share with you. Now I'm going to get my green. And um, where did I put that green? Come back. And since this piece is bigger, I'm going to make some leaves on it. See, you can just make these decisions as you go along as you see what it needs and just some little whimsical little ivy looking okay one or two more and I'll have this one done Okay, that's all that needs. And when that dries, that will have a very pretty stained glass look to it. Okay, and here we have our finished set. 
this is still a little bit wet and I just noticed this run in it. I don't like that and let me tell you what to do when you finish something and you say that's just not going to work. Very simple. Soak it in hot soapy water and it'll just lift right off. Um, you can do that for several hours. I'm not sure if you can do that the next day. I just haven't had to try that yet. But you just take it and wash it off, dry it real good and start all over. That's one of the things that makes this so easy and it doesn't take that long to do anyway so it's not that hard to do over. Here's another idea. Take some bud vases and embellish them a little bit. I think you can see it a little bit better if I lift the flowers up. And I think that kind of enhances this pretty jadeite set. I, I am going to try and find a color, the, the color of jadeite, and see what that would look like. And in the few minutes that we have left, I just want to remind you, if you want to order some pattern, I mean, if you'd like me to mail you some patterns, um, write me on my email, and I'll be glad to send you patterns of some of the shows that we've done. I've got uh, border patterns, and I've got patterns for writing if you write on things, and some um, tips to help you stay in line and, and to help you uh, keep your writing straight. And um, just let me know if you're interested. And I want to thank you so much for watching and join us the next time.